Happy Friday, fashionistas, and welcome to 5 to 15 minutes of fashion with yours truly, Nina J. So I made an executive decision to listen to what you guys told me to do. I am no longer going to shoot these videos on Friday only. It's just 5 to 15 minutes of fashion with, again, yours truly, that's lame. I'm gonna find another intro. But it's gonna be any day, and it will consistently be five to 15 minutes of fashion, and um, it will come at any point during the week, and so I am not going to kind of tie myself down to this one day and stress myself out, like there's enough going on. I don't need the added stress, like the self-inflicted wounds of like me creating this thing that can exist. So everyone who told me, you're a busy mom. Just do it whenever you can. You right. You right. I should have listened. Last week I was up on like, I don't know, like way too late trying to get the video out and I didn't get it up until almost midnight, which is ridiculous. So I just like talked the first like, I don't know, one minute of this is just gone. Me letting you know how I may cut all that out. You let it, letting you know rather that five to, min to 15 minutes of fashion is going to happen on any day. So don't be surprised if it's Tuesday and you see five to 15 minutes of fashion. Today will hopefully be t look towards the five minutes. I'm going to try to stop getting tongue twisted and also stop rambling and um, jump right in. So if you've been following me um, since around like 2018, I talk a lot about this shoe designer on Amazon called Funny She Jill. Um, they do a lot of di designer inspired shoes and they have a shoe that is shaped just like the So Kate, um, the So Kate Louboutin. It has a very similar toe box. The stiletto is very pointy. Love it. It's a really sexy shoe. I've said in the past, I hate a shoe um, that covers up your toe cleavage. And what I mean by that on a funny she jill, um, if you put your toes in it, you're able to see the slits in between your toes and the shoe doesn't come all the way up like covering the knuckles of your feet like a granny shoe. So this is a pretty, really beautiful shoe. And I have this shoe in every color. It's suede. And as I mentioned before, we do not adhere to archaic um, rules surrounding fashion. So um, archaic and antiquated for that matter, rules around fashion. So you can wear a suede or faux suede shoe year round. I mean, it's like 4 billion degrees. It is Hell's Kitchen right now. And if I were to go outside, you know, say there wasn't a pandemic and I was getting out, I'd be wearing my suede shoes. So I have them here in a really pretty purple. I also have them in this super beautiful blue. And I think the my ring light is blowing this out so much. This blue is actually, I mean, it is the exact same color as my dress. Also, this dress is Roland Marais. Shout out to The Real Real. Found this dress for probably 90% I'm not not that's ridiculous okay maybe not 90 like 75% off of retail really good buy so shout out to the real real love them um for clothes not for handbags but love them for clothes you can't return their handbags but I do love the real real they're fantastic um so they have it in a really pretty blue color they have it in a really pretty pale pink and I feel like my ring light is kind of blowing the pink out too and then um I have this uh really pretty orangey red it looks more more red than I'm seeing right now in the camera but it's it's closer towards a red so I love funny she Jill um, they have some sizes available in um, like in prime available on prime that you get it in two days but uh, if you get it if your size isn't available they are coming directly from China and with the pandemic it's taken a while for them to get to you so um, it could take up to September, I'm noticing, for certain sizes, but some sizes they have and they could be to you in 24, 24 to 48 hours. These shoes, I don't think all of them have half sizes. Um, I am a six and a half now, thanks a lot, Lincoln. I was a six and then I had a baby and now I'm six and a half, which really made me moody about a lot of my shoes that I can't fit. But tip, Carrie Washington said, if you wear your shoes while you're pregnant, they kind of just stretch with you and that those were facts but all of my shoes that were summer shoes because the heaviest part of my pregnancy was in the win in the winter so all of my summer shoes that I did not wear I had to sell um, but I replaced them so I guess that's not that bad of an issue now because you know I bought new ones so I guess it was the gift that just kept on giving um so let me get to the point of this though so you've heard me talk about these shoes I love them they're beautiful um I kind of like went all over the place, but about the sizing, uh, I 
wear a six in these so I think they run a little big I do not get a seven I've ordered a six in all of these and I'm a six and a half um but they fit like a so Kate some people say they're a little more comfortable than a so Kate but they're the same heel height and the pink pair I ordered might have been five millimeters like it might have been 115 millimeters or super high so I'm um, just prepare yourself for the heel height on these but that isn't what this is about so this is about um, how to make these shoes look like designer shoes with shoe clips. It's very granny, but I absolutely adore shoe clips. And so the first ones that I have here, um, these are little lion heads and uh, Versace does lots of lion heads and they actually have a shoe where they do a lion head on the back of the shoe. So you take your little shoe clip, you clip it on the front, on the back, or on the front of the shoe and now you have a shoe that looks like it's Versace and it is not it is funny she Jill so this is a way to take a, a really pretty shoe and um, and mix it up and make it look designer also be mindful though that once when you're because it's the faux suede and even if it was real suede take these off when you're not wearing the shoes because I'll leave an imprint um, the next one that I wanted to show you is how you can cheat a Manolo Blahnik Hangisi. So the Hangisis were the shoes that you saw um, in Sex and the City, the ones that Big uses to propose to carry. So you order the square shoe clip and the, I'll put links to um, the shoe clips and the, let me lean back, and the shoes on my, on my site. So these are really pretty. I'll actually, I think I have a Hangisi. Oh God, it's, of course it's not in my reach. Why am I this human? Um, <laughs> So this is the Hangisi, and this is, and I honestly think like this is prettier. I mean, the satin is so pretty, a Hangisi is so pretty, but I think this is a super pretty shoe. And sorry, you guys, I still have like allergies. I don't even know what's happening with like summer allergies. How is this a thing? Um, next up, Gucci did lots of lips this past season. And so on the pink ones, I ordered these little red lips. And they're super adorable on the pink. Check it, how cute. Is that not adorable? I love these. So you can take a pair of pink pumps and make them look Gucci inspired, or you can wear them just casual pink pumps. So love that. Also, my tiny human got me, but they have these little uh, faux mink ones, and I thought the faux mink ones are really pretty on the pink as well. So you could do that. And um, I also, I do a, I do these shoe clips on my nice shoes as well and I found that they've not ruined my nice shoes. So I have a pair of black Louboutins and I ordered this little um, feather one. Uh, and you just clip it on the front. And I actually won a, last minute I got invited to like a, an event where they like judge your shoes and I was like, oh, I need a super cute pair of shoes. And I just ordered this shoe clip and put it on my Louboutin and these actually like won a competition, a shoe competition. So love these. And so links to all of these will be on my website. And then one of my favorites is Gucci also did um, this oversized bow design. And these are like little appliques that you can take, you peel the sticky part off and you can put it onto a shoe clip kind of adapter that you can buy but you can clip these on the backs of the shoes Gucci's done that Gucci's also done them on the toe and there's also some that you can buy that you can strap across the top of your foot and Gucci's done this too Gucci's done an oversized bow on the front of a shoe so these are just really fun ways I also have these um these aren't designer inspired I, just have, I haven't seen a designer do these um, the furry ones though, the feather ones, Jimmy Choo's done this, um, a lot of designers have done that, but I just think these are super fun ways to, um, extend the life of your shoe, make your shoes look different, kind of dress up your wardrobe really inexpensively, um, and give you a little bit of flair that's the, des the designer look without spending the designer price. And what I will say for me is I'm not there yet, so I don't like buying a lot of super trendy designer items that I can't do with a lot of things. And so I would never buy Gucci, like pink Gucci shoes with lips. I wouldn't spend money on that because it's a very specific look and I couldn't do it a lot. But um, doing this is a painless way to do it. I get the look and I'm not out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you guys, that's a really brief Fashion Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. I love my shoe clips. Um, while you're 
on my side I'll put up some other really cute um, kind of ideas or things or not ideas but other cute uh, versions of shoe clips that you could shop there's a lot of fun ones there's rhinestone ones lots of fun things you can do with shoe clips and I feel very granny doing this but I feel like it's like the hustle of the century like I cracked the Da Vinci code like just if you can't find a designer inspired shoe like make one um, so and I love the funny she gel shoes so all of this information on how to purchase these items will be up on styled by and I will see you guys later on in the week it will not be Friday but there will be another 5 to 15 minutes of fashion on Balmain inspired blazers and you are not going to want to miss this one so hug each other love each other and I'll see you guys later on this week have a great weekend.